Kratos and Atreus are in Avaldi's workshop and uh, we're just going to come up and do a quick video of how to close the realm tears. I've left the uh, usual armour on. Uh, you don't need it in here because you're not in the Cursed Mist. But I'm just going to leave the Spalders, uh, Gauntlets, War Belt of Deadly Mist. I'm going to leave them on. The uh, Talisman that I do like though is uh, Talisman of the Realms just to shut uh, shut time down. So we'll head on over to the first uh, realm tear. So I've collected three anchors of fog, you can see that. I've got the appropriate mist echoes. So I'll just press X and we'll see what comes through. So this is uh, at least one gorilla. Should be three, I think. So I'll stop time, hit them with the enduring lash of frost until they go into the red zone, like that. R3. Stun them, and then use this one to go into the others. You might have to do it twice, we'll see how we get on. So one press one stun. You get the idea if I haven't managed to do it properly. Use one to stun the other and jump on that one. And if you need to go into rage mode, that's probably the easiest way. Always ride them into the wall, so that tends to induce their health and pressure. So, and that's that one there. Very impressive, Wags. Done. Kind of surprised we made it out of that one. So, a lot easier than you think. Now, before you go and open any more realm tears, make sure you've got your talisman refreshed. There's no point to uh, not having full power as it were. And the other one to make sure is make sure you've got a Berserker Resurrection Stone. She might need that. So we'll open the next one. So this one is... Ah, a little giant. These aren't too difficult either. Uh, when he stood up, wait till he opens his chest and hit the northern burning rack of frost again and they'll go down very very quickly. I hate the Prometheus flame just to kill off anything. Like we say, they go down quick as well. And they've also left a nice res um, rage stone for if we need it later. So that one's uh, that's the second one down. I thought like we said, that one's not too difficult either. Unfortunately, before we hit this last realm tear, I do need all my talismans refreshed. Which unfortunately means just hanging around for a few seconds. Uh, Blades of Chaos as well. So the blades are ready. Uh, sorry, the axe is ready, but the blades are not. They will not take too long. So, so Atreus is ready. Don't forget, you've got Atreus with his arrows and whatever uh, special ability he's got on the arrows. So that's it. Now I think what will come out of here are three reavers. So we're going to be, uh, once you've worked out where they're coming from, they're a little bit easier to get. So I think if we activate this, a reaver will come out about there. 
so let's give it a go. Yep, so hit, hit them with uh, a trace of arrows, get close, and then uh, we'll enjoy a rush and frost. And hopefully get them up, and then there'll be two more on this side. Swap to the blades. I don't know if you can always pick them up to uh, yeah. I'm going to see if you can them out with uh, Like I say, if you do get down there, we've got the Berserker Stone to resurrect everything. Must go straight into Oh, How do you feel? A little hard work to get through that, far. but uh, you have come a long if you're better way, than Andreas. me, you'll this be able to no take those feat. reavers out without uh, going into the rage mode. I do. Thank so, you, anyhow, it shows you what's coming through each realm, Tet, and uh, a little bit of hints on how to get past them. Hope that helps.